Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're back from our break. That is yeah. why it's so important to have your post notifications on. Yeah. Because as random as this channel is, you need to be able to know when we just pop back in on y'all. So we decided that power would be a great starting point for us just to come off our hiatus. Yeah. And we also did Love and Marriage Huntsville. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out as yes, well. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You're already here. You're going to be here every week. I already know the analytics be telling me so. But NT, <laughs> hoodles, listen. This, this right here, Raisin Canaan. Yeah. I've been waiting for this, like for yeah. real, for real, because I've always tried to figure out how did Kanan become the person that he is today. Exactly. And this right here gave us the perfect, perfect, perfect segue yeah. into learning more about the development of Kanan. Yes, so we're indeed. not going to waste any more time. We're just going to get into it and we're going to get up out your way. All yeah, right. Yeah, Let's get yeah, into it. Yeah. Yeah. I think this episode, the title was perfect back in the day mm -hmm. because everything about this was back in the day, like the eight ball jackets, man, the run, fat the triple fat goose, the run DMC music, you know, oh my God. you know, the music that, you know, back where I was from, from the country, we had school dances. You come in the dance and that music was playing from the beginning of the, of the episode. Yeah, man. So, so nothing was the same. It was, I mean, nothing was different. It was yeah. like you have a city version and a country version, but don't get it twisted. Time is universal. Yeah. Everybody did the same thing everywhere that they were. It just was, it just looked a little different. Exactly. So yeah, this was 1985 at Southside Queens, you know, like I won't from there, but I can identify with everything uh -huh. that was all on the, the trends. Screen. So like my like my wife said, we did de we definitely wanted to know the backstory on Kanan is how Kanan to become to be this ruthless guy to the point that he actually killed his, his son. own son. Like, where'd this guy come from? Where did he get his training from? Who was his daddy? <laughs> Who was his mama? So to be able to have this episode of raising Kanan it was perfect. Mm -hmm. And you know, they started the episode off perfect because we know Kanan to win fights, so to start the episode off and see him get his A whoop was like Kanan getting his A whoop. I was expecting like Kanan to be on top of this dude, like yeah, nah, nah. you know, Kanan style. But Kanan got his tail whoop, and not only did he get his tail whoop, he ran back home to his mama. So I was like, <laughs> okay. So maybe his mama gonna be like, well, son, next time, do better next time, or whoop his A next time. She was like, no going back we going back so this is when we <laughs> in the super this is the start of us finding out where Kanan got his training from so his mama was like no we going back to the park now she went in his sock drawer got a sock put some look like some d batteries down in the sock i said, said look like rubik's cube he said let's go drove back to the park <laughs> got out gave him the sock was like, handle go, business. go handle your business. Either you going to deal with them you deal with me. or you're going to deal with me. Oh, and that's <laughs> not familiar. Yeah. yeah. You say, if we ever came home with our A-whoop, if you come home with your A-whoop, uh -huh. I'm whooping your A. Right. So, very familiar. Very. So, he he walked back up on his uh, The way that he was walking back on the guys, I was like, they're going to whoop his tail again. They're going to take his sock and whoop yeah. his A. But... In Kanan style, he ended up whooping their tail with the sock, and his mama sit back smoking a cigarette off to the side like this, like, yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. So that's where Kanan got his ruthlessness from, was his mama, but that's not it. We got we still got we still got more to talk about with the mama. But I was confused because I said, okay, the other guy was the main guy that whooped Kanan's A. Yeah. But he took all his anger out on secondary dude. Right. I was sitting there like, no, 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 take, get up off of him and go back oh, to him, him and, and whoop beat him. Tail. Yeah. yeah, I said, you ain't learning from Lucius? Whoop that trick, get him, yep. whoop that trick. I'm like, wow. I, that's the only part I didn't like. I was like, get him. So, of course, going back, we never knew um, where Jukebox came from. We just knew that Jukebox showed up to help him out. And, and they were family. I can't remember. Yeah, and they was family. I can't remember what episode uh, or what season it was. But it was good to find out the start of Jukebox, that, her, that yeah. him and Jukebox was best friends. And, of course, Kanan said that Jukebox was the hardest female, female that... You know. And the child was sang. 
And yeah. not only she could sing, she was on the choir. <laughs> <laughs> and was smart as a whip. And smart as a whip. So it kind of take out that stereotype of like when we saw her, that she it was, was like, you, you just this thug ghetto chick that's, you know, doing your thing. But, to be but back, we all knew that she was smart. She was on the police force and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, so, true that, true well, that. Well, we can't say that. Well, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Derek <Derrick> Chauvin. <laughs> <laughs> but... But to see, and then, and oh yeah, oh, and not only that, she was in love with this funny looking white girl. Can you see? <laughs> she was funny looking. Okay. Let's, let's just, we're going to go with it. She was. All right. But hey, but it was a good, but I was just, I still was shocked that, you know, I would have thought she would have been in love with a, a black chick. To well, be. you know, they always got to come in and stick. Mm. So that's, that's, continue. that's, that's what I, what. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. But, but what I did like was that even though Kanan never judged her, Kanan actually he would cover would cover for her as we seen a lot through the episode when there was issues that went down with the family. They would ask where you was at jukebox, and she would like choir practice, and Kanan would never rat her out and be like, nah, she went on choir practice. She was with the, with the white, white girl. With the but then he look at jukebox and say. He was with, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I got you. So, as we could see through the episode, that pretty much, I, I just started thinking back to, like, how, you know, ghosts operated when ghosts always wanted to, to reek, to not be in the game, and wanted to send to reek off the school. Yeah. And Kanan's mama was the same way that she didn't want him to be in the game. So, she tried to, you know, she when we see her taking him down to the school and supposed to go into this prestigious school downtown with elevators and skit. And escalators. Kanan was like, escalators and I, like, Kanan was like, I don't want to do that. You know, I, I want to be here in the game. I mean, you could just, you could see it. I mean, he was just playing the action. I want to be in the game. But his mama didn't want him in the game, and she was pushing so hard for him to do that. And that, that made me think about Tariq. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I didn't even think about it that way. So I'm wondering, did did Ghost pick that up? Okay. Like, definitely, what, definitely. Like, you know, he was trying that um, uh, Rock was trying to get Kanan to go to school. So maybe if I try to do it, which he succeeded with Tariq, but Tariq, of course, he, we see he still up and, and still got in the game. Yeah, well, he went to school. <laughs> he definitely went to school. So you know, we saw that you know he went. He tried. He went to go take the test. And he scribbled through it, put all B's on there, cause he wanted to be he in the game. He wanted to fail on purpose. But pissed uh, me off. <laughs> so get back on how crazy Kanan's mama was. That they went to this club where this uh, white lady was, and I guess that yeah, she was supposed to be meeting up with some guy. Yeah, Pedro Pablo, somebody. Peace yeah, somebody. and whatever the 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 drugs that her drugs were supposed to be pushed to the club and the white girl was like, your drugs is trash. I said, I I'm just, I'm just using my, per yeah, I'm just, uh, we using my person I know. And she was like, our uh, Kanan's mama rock was like, oh, hell no. Uh, That's not uh, B, deal you don't know who you messing with. <laughs> you know? And the white girl said, you don't know who, who you, you messing, messing with. with. I'm not your typical white girl. I was like, okay, okay. I see you white girl. But and I, even her I don't dog know. tried to get, yeah. you know, crunk. And dog right. getting crunk. I was like, okay, so, uh, they end up working that thing out. You know, the brother went over there and ended up talking to her and worked out something, but... And Rock was over at the bar. Yeah. Where talk, the bartender was just yeah. talking. <laughs> and she was like, I've never seen you before. And he was like, I only work here twice a week. I go to school. I'm trying to do better for myself. And he was like, but if you do something to her, won't no tears be shared on my end. <laughs> I said, mm, okay. So you don't like her either. So then we saw, like, later on the episode that she was... But this dude was it the brother? I think it was. I think it was the brother. And she was like something. <laughs> something some smell. smells. And she went in the kitchen, and the god darn dog was in the god darn microwave. I mean, he just. And I already knew. I already knew she had something to do with I it. Said Rock don't fry the dog. Yeah. Uh huh. Because we saw late in the episode when one of the, her brother brought her back the dog leash. And the collar told myself, meet <laughs> he well, him well. Meet him well. <laughs> I said, oh my God. And then once again, we we saw how freaking Kanan got his ruthlessness. Because that's that's right up Kanan. Oh, oh, the dog want to get crunk. So I'm waiting now on what she planned on doing to, you know, to, 
<laughs> to the white girl, you you fried the dog in the microwave, so I know you're going to do something to her. Mm-hmm. Because Kanan didn't let nobody get away with nothing. So I yeah, know no. she's not getting away. So that was the message to let you know. Oh, yeah, that, that was, that was the, message. the message to let uh-huh. you know I'm coming. Uh-huh. So what you going to do? You supposed to be all big, all big and bad. Until somebody fried that dog. So, uh, Rock had to go and confront the dude. I, I still don't know this guy's name, but he had on the fur and everything. You Her know, equal. Uh, yeah, the chain, you know. And... They worked out a deal where she said, I'm going to get more of the blocks. You're you going to get, get the these blocks. blocks. And everything's supposed to be Gucci for me. Oh, good. So one day, Kanan was out hanging out with his boys. And he perceived him, thought that these guys was disrespecting his mama because. But let me, let me put this. As things started progressing with his mama and everything, and he started watching his mama as mama was moving, was he learning their code, figure it out. figuring out their code talk, you know, you know, 53 this and all these different numbers that he that he was picking up on. So, so he basically, was he was learning the game from them, and they didn't know he was learning the game from them. So we got to, to uh, this point where he was like, these guys are disrespecting my mom's spot. Uh, we need to go handle it. And it was a guy named, what's his name? It was D. Uh, which we like we said we can get on the name was D was like too many of them yeah and they they rolled up and ended up shooting one of the dudes to only find out that the yeah, mama yeah. gave them that spot anyway and he was like why in the fuck you do that <laughs> and the brother was like yeah but that was what created the huge war where the next time she met the guy he was like I'm nah the blocks. we had a deal. Word is supposed to be word on the street. We ain't got your word. We ain't got nothing. So guess what? And there's a bounty on your son's head. Yeah, it's I can't bound, control I ain't got, what these dudes do because yep. they came over to the house, right? And, sh- and tried to shoot up through the house yep. to shoot Kane and called him by name before yep. they started shooting up and through that. Yep. So, I said, "Oh, dang, Kane!" And so not only did you jump, you 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 jumped the gun literally. Yeah. Kill somebody when your mama had already given them that spot. So now you got some dudes trying to roll up on you and kill you because you hot-headed. Right. I'm, I'm like, and that, wow. And that spun it all the way of creating the war because you know that the way we saw how Rocky is, she won't go about to let that stand. And you know, pretty she, much... How you going to stand with a business when you don't have any blocks? Right. And so the whole time throughout the whole episode, I was like, I know you want to send this boy to school and I know that his brothers is here, but... You his need uncles. him. Yeah, his uncles. But I was like, you need him. Like. Yes and no. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. yeah it's like, okay, what ha- what happens if something happened with the uncles? Then what? He ain't in but, a position to jump in and help her right now, but he can be. But, which we know. So it's perfect time for him to start learning. Well, he don't have a choice but, but to but, learn now. But he end up. Doing what he, but do you think he did that on purpose? No. Nah. Rolled up on him, but he thought he was doing the right thing. Oh, he to definitely it. thought I, he was doing. He the right thought thing. he was impressing his mom by rolling up on them and be like, "Oh, oh, okay, his mom pat you on the back that you you know rolled up on them, disrespecting me. Okay, maybe you is built for this game." But as we can see, that's was what led to the game, and we saw at the end of the episode that she ended up giving him a gun and they shooting that Orion's belt. And saying, and I like what she told him. She said, that shot that you fired is going to follow you for the rest of your life. You're going to be running from that bullet. So basically that, I was like, that's what came to every time you turn around. They was in beef with this crew. And now they're finna get in beef with this crew. Now they with this crew. So I understood. And all the way to his death. Real talk. But yeah, that was, that was basically the episode. And I'm glad that. We really got the yeah. I'm glad they visited. They, they, this. they got the backstory, you know, on Kanan and uh. But I thought they were taking him to the grump. She was taking him to the grandma house yeah, in the middle yeah. of the night. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. When she said get in the car in the middle of the night, I said, oh, they trying to ride out and take him to the grandma's house. But I was like, why would you take and put your mama in harm's way like that? Yeah. If you can drive to the spot, they can drive to the spot. But right. no, she out there teaching him how to get ready for this war. I said, wow. Yeah. So now we 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 know how Canaan is Canaan. So I'm I'm looking forward to the rest of this story Dang and unfolding. I'm looking forward to how Ghost fits in here and everything because you remember that Ghost 
uh, said Kanan was the one that taught him the game. And of course, we can see. Uh, Where well, he learned the game. Yeah, he learned the game from. Uh, Kanan learned the game from his mom. And his mama learned it from his daddy. Yep. <laughs> and then he, she met another guy that ended up getting burnt up. So I'm pretty sure that she learned some stuff from him. Yep. To the point where when he, I said, come on, Kane is mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so she pretty ruthless. So uh, let the freaking war begin, man. Straight from the beer. The dirty, dirty south. Holla!